Alright, uh, on all of the different videos that I've done around Microsoft Forms, file uploads, and Power Automate, uh, one of the most common questions is, what do I do if I have more than one file? Uh, and that could be whether you have a single question that allows multiple files to be uploaded, or if you have multiple questions with single files. So I just set up a quick form here with a single file upload question, which is limit to one file, and then another file upload question called multiple files that allows up to five. Now, for the sake of, the, of, of demonstration here, all I'm talking about is kind of what to do with that data. Uh, we're not going to get into the specific scenarios of how to send it as an email, how to attach it to, you know, how to generate files in a SharePoint library, or how to attach it, attach them to a task and planner. I cover all that in other videos, so I don't want to duplicate that. I'm just focusing in on the concept of how to manage these, you know, the, the data for multiple files. Uh, and in this case, I'm going to basically say we want to do the same thing with all of them. So basically, in the flow that I'm going to show, we're taking the single file that's been uploaded to question one, and the multiple files have been uploaded to question two. And we're just kind of mashing all of that data together into one array and then from that array you can you know or take the data from that array and use that to go through and get the content to create those files and attach them or create the files in SharePoint or attach them to an email following the steps in my other videos but I wanted to just focus in on the the concept of how to merge all of those files into one shot now if you're in the scenario where you don't want to merge them all together, where you want to manage them separately, then uh, the answer is actually pretty easy because you just handle each one separately. So if I had, you know, let's say I wanted to send, when this e form is submitted, I want to send two emails, one with the single file attached and another with multiple files, I would just set up the actions to send the email with the single file duplicate and just replicate that process over again for the multiple files. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, you're just repeating the same actions over again, but this is a little bit different where we're, we're, we want to do the same thing with all of the files. Uh, so let's just jump into the flow and see how this works. Uh, so obviously it starts with the whenever response is submitted. And since this is a group form, I had to get the form ID from the URL of the form. Again, I cover that in other videos, and then we're getting the response details. And then I'm initializing this variable called var files. And you can call it whatever you want. Files to me just makes sense. And the reason we need this variable is that the response data to each of those file upload questions, even when the question is limited to a single file, the data is still coming in in the form of an array. So what I want to do is create this array variable, and then we're just going to append the response data, you know, the, the JSON of the response data, to that variable. So at the end, we have one variable that has all of the file upload data, and then we can basically process that as we need for whatever purpose we're going to do. So it's pretty straightforward. Again, this is very similar to the other videos I've done where we're just using the parse JSON action to get the content from the single, in this case, the single file upload question. And then there's the schema. I'll paste this into the, uh, the description of this video if you need it. It's available dozens of other places, if not hundreds of other places online. Uh, but it's going to be the same for any file upload question. But you can see by the uh, the curly braces uh, that this is an array. And that's basically what we're looking for. Actually, yeah, right here it says type array. So there you go. Uh, so we're going to parse the JSON for the single file upload and then simply append for each item. So let me just... Uh, go through this and show you how I set that up. So I'll delete that. Uh, basically we want to append. I'm, I'm saying append to var files and what do I want to append? This is where you need to be careful and go to your 
parse JSON single file upload and what you want to append to be the most versatile. Now, if you know specifically what you want to do, you can append specific values here, but I want to append the item, which basically means it's going to throw this into an apply to each because it needs to, because even though this is only allowing a single question or a single file upload, there could be more than one. So it's going to say, okay, I'll, for every one of those, for every item that is selected, I'm going to append that item to that array. Uh, and so there we go. That's the single file. And then in the multiple files, it's the same thing. We're just parsing JSON of the multiple file upload question. And then appending that to, this is ex again exactly the same from the body that's output of that parse JSON. I want to apply to each item appending it to var files. So let's just go to the form itself and see exactly how this works with a by walking through a flow run. So I'm going to upload a file and I'll just grab some normal Excel file here. And then for the multiple files, I'll grab a few more. Let's say that one and maybe this one and now we'll go with that one and that one. So I'll just open all of those. So again, we're just selecting all those files. Now I could attach one more, but I'm going to leave it at four. And then this question, I'm saving this for a future video, uh, but I will click submit. And then we'll go over and look at our flow run. So I'm just going to leave that because I didn't necessarily want to change those settings. So there we go. We'll just look at this and see what the data is. So again, we're getting the response details, nothing exciting there, but there's our single file upload and there's our multiple file upload. And you can see that the format is exactly the same. It's just for the multiple files, there are more than one there. Uh, if I show the raw outputs that, well, actually, no, it doesn't really help because it runs off the side of the screen. Never mind. Uh, but we can look at the append actions to see exactly what's happening there. So got our of our files it's an array here we are applying each to append that single file so there's that single file the first one I selected and then in our multiple files scope we can see the apply to each ran four times to append each of those four attachments to var files now if I go down to var files there we go we can see basically the, the input, this is just a compose that's showing var files, so the inputs and outputs are going to be exactly the same, but if we look at this, the raw inputs here we can see, in this case it helps. So we've got the name of that first file, the name of the second file, the name of the third file, the name of the fourth, and again, we're going with the assumption here that I want to do the same thing with all of these. If you need to parse them out and do different things with different files, then that's going to, you can certainly do that, but know that you need to very clearly define what you want to do. And I would say if that's the case, you probably want to have separate uh, questions for separate files. So let's say it's a, uh, you know, something like a transfer application. You want the person to upload their resume, their CV, and a some kind of a requisition form for a transfer you would want those as three distinct questions so that you don't have to worry about if you you could make one question allow three uploads but then you need to worry about which file is which because you probably want to handle those differently um, if you want to handle them all the same then just make it one question but it's it's kind of up to you so again that's that's getting a little more complicated I just want to go through and show fairly quickly how we can just append all of those um, files from multiple questions uh, into one variable and then use that variable for whatever purpose we want to use it for, whether it's sending an email or attaching to a, a task or sending them to a SharePoint library, etc. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, if so, you can leave a comment down below. 
a like would always be appreciated. And if you have any questions, comments, throw those in the comments below. Thanks and have a great day.